hi friends welcome back to anna nail school english channel so in today's video i'm going to show you how to do soft gel tip extensions so you must have heard of these brands called apres gel legs and uh, there are so many other brands uh, who sells these soft gel tips and it's one of the easiest nail extension technique that you can do if you're a beginner then this video is just for you so before we start please don't forget to subscribe to my channel turn on the bell notification okay so now let's begin with the video I had some extensions on so I just did the soak off and for any kind of extension you need to start with a dry manicure. So as you can see here I am using my electric file to do the dry manicure but if you are a beginner you don't know how to use an electric file you can definitely use a hand file 180 grit hand file to do the same uh, dry manicure. So the step number one for you will be to push back the cuticle and then using the hand file you can buff and remove all the dead skins from your nail plate okay so coming back to our e-file so here i'm using a blue abrasive mark cone bit uh, so as you can see uh, this bit is specifically designed to do the dry manicure and my machine i'm using it on a 18,000 rpm so i started with the right side of my nail where i use the reverse mode and when i'm doing the left side of my nail i'll be using my forward mode and as you can see i'm moving my bit a small i'm making only smaller movements i'm just not going like from one side to the other side directly okay so if you keep on doing that then your chances of uh, you know over filing the nails are high so just make sure that you have like a slightly slanted angle and you are making smaller movements once you know that you clean the area then you can just go like a little longer movements okay so here i just finished uh, scraping off all the dead skin from the nail plate and my nails are all almost kind of dry here because uh, as I told you I just took off my extension so because of the acetone use the nails are already a little dry but still I'm just pushing back the skin using the same bit and buffing off whatever hang nails etc are there around the corner so here again I'm showing you how I use my hand file so this is just I'm not putting any pressure because I already like uh, removed um, uh, all the shine from the nail so it was just like a little uh, buffing over the nail braid and after that I'm using my cuticle nipper to trim the dry dead skin okay so when you do the push back if you see like white white translucent skin that is what you're going to trim not the live skin okay it's a little tricky so first you practice on your own hands and then you can start uh, doing it on like your sister or mother and then eventually you can start doing it on the uh, clients okay so um, another thing you have to make sure the cuticle nipper or the cuticle scissor you are using is sharp enough okay once all this is done then you have to clean your nail plate with alcohol and lint free wipe and once this is done we are going to start with a dehydrator okay all these steps are necessary if you want your soft gel tips to last longer which is four to five weeks okay so we applied the dehydrator and next we are going to apply a primer primer this is an acid free primer and when you are applying the primer make sure you are not putting too much okay too much is also not good so just a thin layer of primer would be enough if you have like a regular healthy nail and if it's a sweaty nail then maybe uh, obviously you may have to like apply a little bit more but here it's a normal nail so only that much is enough now next step is to apply a base coat because we are going to do a gel based extension right so for that a base coat is necessary so i'm applying a very thin layer of uh, base coat and then i'm going to cure it for like 30 second or 60 second depending what light and what type of product you are using next uh, let's see the soft gel tips so this is from a brand called sponsor and uh, these are coffin type sh uh, shaped uh, nail tips and uh, there are so many different brands i think nowadays every company makes soft gel uh, tips a full cover tips like this and uh, what i'm doing here is i'm showing you what is the difference between an abs tip and a soft gel tip so as you have just seen i completely folded it and then there was this white line and then when i open it that white wine was line was gone but if you do the same thing with a plastic abs plastic tip then either it will break or you will never uh, you know you, you will see that white break fold on the tip so that's the difference this is made out of soft gel that's the reason we call it a soft gel 
tip extension okay so now look at the uh, tip here so i measured uh, the tip size as per my fingernails and now if you see this is not a pre prepared uh, tip okay which means the inside of the tip is also very shiny and smooth so we need a good addition so what i'm doing here is i'm using my my electrifier and i'm using a carbide bit but if you have like a sand band okay that is the best option i was lazy to go and get my sand band so i just picked up whatever was there on the table so this this way you need to buff and make it a little matte and there are so many brands which comes uh, with like pre prepped uh, tips okay so for that you don't have to do this one uh, but in that case you have to do another step which is use your hand file and file down the cuticle area thickness of your tip to 60 percent 60 to 70 percent make it like really thin so that you have a flawless cuticle area okay so that you have to do so here i use my electric file to do both i file the inside also at the same time i uh, remove the thickness from the cuticle area okay it's like all, more than half is gone okay now next uh, since I applied the base coat and uh, then I did the filing, I just wiped it with my lint free. Otherwise, you do all this first and then you can start with your, uh, you know, uh, dehydrator to uh, your base coat application. Okay. So now I have a table lamp here to do the flash curing. So as you can see, see how my tip looks like when I'm like uh, trying the size on my nails. Okay. So because I filed the cuticle area with electric file uh, the thickness was gone so it gives a more natural look around the cuticle area okay so now what I'm doing here is I took the glue I applied a thin layer on my nail this step is optional if you want you can do it if you don't want you can avoid it second I applied the glue uh, depending on the length of my natural nail to that many area I applied the thin layer of uh, gel glue and then i put i left a good good drop of glue onto the tip and then this uh, just like this i push the glue out and then i'm doing a flash curing okay so when you do this make sure your tip is straight okay and you're holding it nice and there is no bubbles inside and the glue is not jumping out of like all the corners okay all these four three three four things you have to keep in mind okay so now it's not like fully cured but it's flash cured so it doesn't move if you leave your fingers now i'm taking a, a small brush and if you have any excess coming out of you know the tip underneath your nail then you can wipe it so for the thumb there was nothing like that so now let's do it one more time so step number one i'm applying a th very thin layer of gel based glue here okay on my nail very thin layer don't put too much okay just consider it as a slip base second I'm using the same gel to apply it inside of the tip and then I'm taking a big ball of uh, glue onto my tip okay so this amount will vary depending how wide or long your natural nails are okay don't take too much and make sure you have enough not little not too much okay then you touch your nails and then press it down and then you flash cure it okay so after flash curing then you can re release your finger and then if you see there are like you know excess glue coming out of your nails underneath the nails then you can use a teeny tiny brush and you can clean it so here i'm doing that so i'm just using this small brush clean that excess because it's not completely cured you can still go ahead and wipe it okay once you do the full cure under the big lamp then you can't uh, like really do anything Okay, so now we have applied the tips on all five fingers as you can see they look like a natural or like a proper extension especially the cuticle area okay next what i'm doing is i'm just using my buffer to buff off the shine from the uh, uh, tips that i have applied because we need like a matte finished surface for our gel to uh, stick to the tips and then it will last longer otherwise it might peel off uh, you know so to avoid that i buffed off okay 
next is i'm going to apply a gel polish so here i'm using a gel polish from a brand called canny so this is a translucent finish nude color a uh, very beautiful color so since my nails are too long so i started with the free edge i applied the gel all over my free edge and then i'm coming to my cuticle application so just make sure whenever you are applying a gel polish uh, you have to start with thin layer don't put too much in one go that's when you get like you know when you cure it it will start to shrink or you will have like some kind of bubbles or like after one or two days starts to peel when you apply like thicker layers okay so just make sure you are applying thinner layer and each layer you need to cure and now we have already cured i applied two layers and i cured it and then i decided to add like a v type fringe okay so for that i'm using a, a gel liner okay from a brand called shills and i'm using the same brush liner brush that is there in the uh, gel gel paint i'm using the same thing and uh, i started drawing one side and then i repeated the same on the other side so it created like a v type french design okay the nails are like coffin shape so this was the best type of french i had no idea what i wanted to do but this was like a last last minute thing that i did After completing the French lines, then I decided to apply a top coat and seal the design. Just remember, after the French lines, I cured it and then I started with my top coat application. The top coat I'm using is again from the same brand Canny. So this was like a, uh, you know, 2023 uh, pieces kit. So very beautiful colors. Uh, so if you wanted to see, then you can check out my Instagram page. Okay. So after uh, applying the top coat and curing it I use this bow this I got from Amazon and I have like a kind of fascination for the bows nowadays uh, they look really pretty so I am going to add one bow on to my nails so here I'm using a um stone glue okay this is a special kind of glue just for rhinestones and stuff like that so I applied a drop and then I used a uh, a wax pencil to pick it up and place it and then i'm going to quickly cure it and with that our design is ready i really really love this design and uh, let me know if you like this and if you have ever tried soft gel tip extension do let me know if also if any of the tips that i shared uh, if it helped you then let me know you can follow me on my instagram there are a lot of small small videos uh, related to extensions uh, links are in the description box and with that i'm going to wind up here and i'll see you soon on my next video until then stay safe stay happy thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe bye bye